It's brought in the safe as a hero's can boin in volume two, chapter eight, page one hundred and eighty-four. That when we do bedikas chametz, we use three items: a candle, a wooden spoon, and a feather. When we burn the chametz, we burn the wooden spoon and the feather, since they touch the chametz. But why do we burn the candle, which didn't touch any chametz? Harav Baruch Halevi Epstein. Zecher Tzadik Livracha, who lived from 1860 to 1942, author of Sefer Torah Tamima and Sefer Makor Baruch, and a Rav Yehuda Arye Leib Alta, Schusa Yagen Elena, who lived from 1847 to 1905, the second Gera Rebbe, known as the Sfas Emes, explain that since the whole purpose of the candle is to help find the chametz, which represents sin and imperfections, it also deserves to be burned. In contrast, we find the candle of the shamash, which is used to light the neiros Chanukah and spreads its light to others, is always raised up higher than the Chanukah candles. We must support and raise up anyone who uses their energy to bring out the best in others and make them shine. While we must destroy anything whose focus is on the negativity of others, we must make sure to use our powers and energy to spotlight and highlight the positive in everyone. And our world will shine with beauty and positivity.